so this is the anderson bridge which is the advanced form of maxwell bridge so anderson bridge is used to calculate the unknown inductance so here l is what the unknown inductance nothing but it is used to find out the self inductance of a coil so it works on the principle of induction and uh, here we have to compare the unknown inductance with the standard capacitance which is connected between two arms of the bridge so first we should know the parts of this anderson bridge so here it is the circuit diagram for anderson bridge which consists of uh, two variable resistances and uh, oh, oh, value of p that is fixed value of resistance 1000 ohm and value of q uh, that is also fixed 1000 ohm and resistance r that is uh, which acts as the variable resistance which is having the range of 0 to 100 ohm and uh, capacitance value that is also fixed it has uh, two values here 0.1 microfarad and 0.2 microfarad these are the standard capacitance values fixed values and r Uh, this is the variable resistance which have three different values of resistances here the multiplier for r this is for 1000 ohm if you keep it at 1 it is 1 into 1000 ohm 2 that is 2000 ohm if you use this as multiplier that is 100 ohm 200 ohm and similarly this is also uh, this is uh, the multiplier of 10 20 ohm that is what 2220 ohm like that you have to apply the variable resistance r and uh, here is the unknown inductance l which is connected across these two terminals here uh, you in this circuit it is uh, mentioned here you have to find out the unknown unknown self inductance of the coil so here is the digital null detector once the bridge is balanced you must read the value here 0 0 to 0.08 so minimum value uh, 0.08 you must get and here uh, first before going to start you must connect the input terminals across the d terminal we should connect the digital null detector terminals with the input terminal positive terminal to the positive and negative to the negative terminal okay so then keep this uh, standard capacitance at 0.1 microfarad and switch on the device so you can see right now it is having uh, 8. Point 83 so you can adjust uh, the value of r and small r so that this digital null detector should show zero reading so let us make that so first what i will do i will just apply this so you can see it is if i move further it is increasing so let us keep at this value so it is decreasing so it is increasing i will keep it at this value let us apply small r 1000 multiplier so it is decreasing so 7.16 6.3 so it is right now 6000 ohm 4 3 2 so i kept at uh, 10000 ohm still it is 2 uh, 2.8 so let us use the 100 multiplier of a uh, small r so it is not decreasing if you apply it is not uh, decreasing as so i have applied this also maximum so 
so then we have no option we have to vary r here to make it zero ha ah, yes it is decreasing so let us see uh, at what value of r it is going to be zero k point 9 0.7 so 0.4 point it is increasing so 0.4 0.3 2 So point one we have reached. So it is not making any difference. So you can see right now it is 0.15 minimum value that we are getting. Actually, we should make it to zero. But uh, I have applied a value of R. If we apply further, uh, if we increase, it is the value is going to increase. So that's why we can uh, calculate uh, the value of unknown inductance uh, for the value of R and capital R. so there is a formula to calculate inductance here that is l is equal to c into r capacitance into variable resistance r into capital q plus 2 r so we have to use this formula so here uh, the value if you see this is 10 k ohm nothing but 10000 ohm this is uh, again 1000 uh, ohm if we add it will be 11000 and here we have 30 3 into 30 30 11000 3 11000 30 ohm that is value of small r and here uh, the value of capital r that is 43 it is 43 ohm so capital q is 1000 ohm so and uh, capacitance value that is 0.1 microfarad so substitute in the formula so after substituting once we do the calculation this is 0.143 100 plus 2 into 11030 so once we do the calculation uh, this is capacitance in terms of microfarad that is 10 to the power minus 6 so we should make it in terms of uh, milli henry so uh, we got uh, the value of inductance that is 99.15 milli henry so here they have given the unknown value of inductance is 100 milli henry so uh, we also got the nearly same value 99.15 milli henry so like that you can repeat the same procedure for applying uh, the capacitance 0.2 microfarad for 0.2 microfarad also you must get the unknown inductance nearly 100 milli henry so like that you can do this experiment that is the anderson bridge